another dating strangers based on red flags. We already know how the last one went. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last one, that girl was fucking horrible. That girl was god awful. I'm not gonna cap to you. The the last girl was god awful. I'm not gonna hold you, my nigga. So hopefully this this girl or maybe it's a guy, like does a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what let's see what he's talking about. Tell me about a time where you've experienced codependent. I'm not gonna watch this in here. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, disturbing things caught on security cameras by Tub. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, Tub. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Just just making like good videos. So you know what I'm saying? This is this is this is, I've been waiting for this. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. So let's go ahead and go watch it. Disturbing things caught on cameras by Tub. Yeah. Chat, mind you, I'm only not watching the video because I know how everybody about to get my nigga. And I don't got time for emo only, sub only, and then niggas to be get banned and niggas to complain later. Like I don't I don't got time for it, my nigga. Like we might we might watch it a little later, but not right now. Let's just keep let's just watch tough, my nigga. All right, disturbing things caught on security cameras. The most disturbing. I don't think I've ever seen anything caught on a security camera. Well, I've seen some crazy shit caught on a security camera. Have you ever seen that? Um, what the fuck going on in Miami, bro? I gotta find that clip. Hold on, I gotta find that clip. <laughs> nigga switch bitch so so quick. I thought that shit was a YouTube transition. Going on in Miami, bro. This is the only. This is one of my favorite security clips. Fuck going on in Miami, bro. <laughs> God. To this day, I don't know. To this day, I don't know how that motherfucker did that. <laughs> to this day, bro, I don't know how he did that. I'm not going with you. To this day, I still don't know how he did that. But all right, let's see what Tom's talking about. Many disturbing things have been caught on security camera footage, from break-ins to disappearances to even ghosts and supposed alien abductions. It was over. Oh. Many disturbing things have been caught on security camera footage, from break-ins to disappearances to even ghosts. Animals look scary as shit when when they really get down to this and supposed alien abductions, it's no doubt these cameras capture some interesting and dark pieces of footage. In today's video, I wanted to focus on the horrors that have been caught on film and discuss the context within each video. So please, join me as we take a look into disturbing things caught on security cameras. Mmm, greasy pieces. Hey everyone, greasy pieces. it's spooky season, and that means- Yo, my nigga, my dog. A costume for every- Video uploaded in October. Lots of love for the tub. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are minion yeah. because it is October, drip, which drip. means I'm gonna be wearing a costume every single video in October, just like last year. Gonna take these off though because they are uncomfortable. In case yeah, I'm you guys not like, you chat. You I gotta go get I gotta go get some costumes, bro. I gotta go get some costumes just to wear in the stream type shit. You know what I'm saying? Not that I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween. I hope that there's a party or something I can go to. But I need to go get some costumes just to just to drip. I gotta get in season. I ain't going I, I ain't gonna catch out. I wanted to ask you what costumes that I should get, but I already know what some of y'all niggas gonna say. And <laughs> some of y'all about to get topped out for it. But what costume should I get, chat? What costume should I get? Maid dress. No. School girl. Cat ears, Dukotsky, okay, Glizzy, Frozen, Glick suit, yo, that's hard, yo, Glick suit, hard, I'm not gonna you, that's locked, that's locked, that's locked, that's locked, Bob Riles, okay, Sakura, Ghost Outfit, Hermes, Aizen, Ash Cash, Twitch, Deadpool, Fall Guys, Clicks, okay, okay, I heard y'all out, Tyson, I heard y'all out, I heard y'all out. All right, uh, let's let's get to to the to the video. Disappearance of Lars Mittank on the eighth of July, two thousand fourteen. I'm not gonna hold you. I've heard of. Let me. Well, I don't gotta move it. But I've heard of this story before. I heard of this story at before. At Varna Airport in Bulgaria, German man Lars Matank was on vacation with four friends at a resort called Golden Sands. This resort was popular among visitors as it resided by the coast of the Black Sea, and it was a fairly cheap stay. Specifically, Lars and his friends were staying at Hotel Viva Club within the resort. Everything was going great, and they spent their time hanging out on the beach, drinking, and other things of that nature. Though things took a turn about a week later when Lars got into a fight at a 24-hour McDonald's. Lars, a fan of the football club, Werder Bremen, had 
had di- by the way fighting at mcdonald's is an actual insane act i'm not gonna hold you differences with fans of bayern munich he then parted from his friends outside a restaurant after leaving the bar and disappeared for the rest of the night lars turned up at the resort the following morning and told his friends he was beaten by four men hired by the group in the bar who he had Damn. a disagreement with the night before the fight resulted in lars having an injured jaw and ruptured eardrum he went and saw a doctor who advised him to not fly due to his injury because the high altitude pressure could make things worse so he prescribed the antibiotic cefprozil lars's friends wanted to stay with him but he insisted he was fine on his own and he told them they could go back home without him he'll just stay to recover so they did they left without him lars checked out of the resort the same time as his friends and checked into the hotel color varna for one night the hotel was cheap and close to the airport however a day after his friends left he began to act paranoid. While at the hotel, Lars called his mother, and in a whisper, he told her that people were trying to kill him or rob him, and that she should cancel his credit cards. The security ca- Damn. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a crazy situation to be in. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm dipping. I'm dipping immediately, bro. If I gotta go put the plane for this hour, bro, I gotta dip. I gotta go immediately. I ain't gonna hold you. I gotta, like, I gotta dip out wherever I'm at immediately, bro. I'm not gonna capture you, bro. You, you only one person cameras in the hotel recorded him pacing up and down the halls, looking out windows, and hiding in an elevator. At one in the morning, he left the hotel before returning about an hour later. It's not known what he did in this period of time. In the morning, he once again called his mother, telling her that the people pursuing him were getting closer. Lars was last seen at Varna Airport on July 8th, 2014, the day he was planning on going back to Germany. He texted his mother that he had arrived at the airport. He went to consult with the airport doctor, Dr. Kosta Kostov, and Kostov would later describe his behavior as nervous and erratic. According to Kostov, he told Lars that he was fine and he could return home. However, Lars didn't leave his office, expressing doubt about the medication that he was taking. At that time, a construction worker entered the office. The airport was undergoing renovation at the time, so it was pretty normal for a construction worker to come into an office and ask, hey, what else do you need me to do? You know, mm, stuff like that. Kostov said that Lars then began to tremble. He yelled, I don't want to die here. I have to get out of here. He then got up and fled the office. He left Damn! All I ain't gonna hold you. That nigga kinda hit yelled, foot. I don't want to die here. God I damn, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I don't know what happened to him, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I know that he just disappeared. Nobody really knows what happened to him. But God damn, that nigga could run. I ain't gonna cap. That motherfucker need to, like, he need to put bro in a Sonic game or something. I ain't gonna cap. Out like, he, he fast. He got up and fled the office. He left all of his luggage, which included his wallet, cell phone, and passport. He was captured by airport security cameras fleeing the terminal. Once outside, he can be seen on the footage jogging away from the airport, climbing a fence, running into a meadow, and sprinting off camera. This was the last time Lars Matank was ever seen. Damn. That's crazy. And to this day, nobody know what happened. A lot of people think that he just got brain damage from the fight and that he just went insane after that. The running into nothingness, it's so scary. It's so, and then never being seen. Disappearances always be crazy because you don't know what happened to the nigga. To this day, niggas don't know bro got packed up and bro just, is he still alive? Is like, that shit is crazy. You don't know what happened to bro. Again, bro, truly horrifying. Imagine the last place you're seen is through a 180p security camera. Jesus. Like, that sucks. That sucks so much. Wow. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Damn, man. Talking about, like, disturbing security camera footage really makes me, um, it makes me want to write. But thankfully, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is such a bad fucking ad. You guys gonna think this merch plug, But tub? thankfully, we have the Earl Notebook. <laughs> w merch plug. I'm not gonna hold you. I seen Tub merch. Tub merch really likes that. So, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna look at it right here, though. But, like, y'all should, y'all should go forward with Tub merch. I ain't gonna cap. Family disappearance. On October. I, I'm not gonna hold you. When I do the merch, I'm gonna do the same thing. I ain't gonna catch you. I think right, let's actually move on to the next one now. Jameson family disappearance. On October 8th, 2009, in Eufaula, Oklahoma, a family of three went missing and till this day, no one knows what led up to their mysterious the deaths. Bobby Dale Jameson, his wife Sherilyn, and their six-year-old daughter Madison seemed to live pretty normal lives until family members noticed they were gone. A police search began and their truck was found in Latimer County, which is an hour away from their home. In the past few months, the family had been looking for 40 acres of land to buy, where they planned to live in their storage shed. But the items found in their truck indicate that they, they weren't planning on disappearing forever. Inside, investigators found their IDs, wallets, phones, Sherilyn's purse, Damn. and even the family dog, which was alive. What the fuck? The dog was in there? What happened to these niggas, bro? 
That's weird. They're extremely malnourished. Dude, this thing is choking me. Y'all, leave a like. Leave a like, because I'm getting choked, bro. Leave a like, subscribe, buy or all. Y'all know what to do. They also found $32,000 in cash, and police still don't know where they got that money from. Some investigators suspect that it could have been due to selling or buying drugs. But also, why would you take your daughter to a drug deal? Doesn't yeah, really why? That That's crazy. Sense. Not only that, but in a cell phone in the car, they found this creepy photo of the daughter in the woods the day the family disappeared. It was impossible to tell from the condition of the truck if they had left voluntarily or had been forced out of the car by someone else. A search party was formed and investigators combed through miles of woods and surrounding area looking for any trace of the Jameson family, but nothing was found. On November 16th, 2013, four years later, just three miles away from where the truck was parked, hunters stumbled upon the partial remains of uh. two adult skeletons and one child skeleton. Damn, what the fuck happened? And forensic testing Damn, proved they were it, it was the jameson family but due to how decomposed the bodies were they couldn't find a cause of death so the police decided to open the case back up again and check through the family security footage what they found was extremely odd in the video the couple is seen going back and forth between the house and the truck packing up their things and in the video they didn't interact once and they seemed to be bringing and taking the same stuff from the house prior to their disappearance bobby dale had gone to his pastor and claimed that his home was haunted saying that he had two to four ghosts on the roof sherilyn had also purchased a satanic bible a what the fuck am i listening to nigga i'm not gonna hold you i don't think there's no regular explanation for what's really going on my nigga what the fuck that he the Troy camera, yo, chill. this was probably like in 2006. Had two to four ghosts on the roof. Sherilyn had also purchased a satanic Bible, allegedly as a joke. However, Bobby Dale confessed nah. to his pastor that he had read it, leading some people to believe that nah. witchcraft may have been a factor in their nah, deaths. Nah, see, I don't fuck with none of that shit. I ain't gonna get to you. I'm not, I don't even take no chances, my nigga. Like, Sherilyn's on. mother believed that the Jamesons had somehow gotten involved with a cult and were murdered by violent members. But she never named the cult, and there's no evidence supporting that theory. Oh, it was just a theory, so we don't really know. But damn, that's not a... Yo, what the fuck? I ain't gonna hold you, chat. Stay away from all that bullshit, my nigga. You live long if you just stay away from all that bullshit, bro. R.I.P. to they family, like... But nobody knows what really happened. It's just a theory that that coach shit happened. But, like, what the fuck? Easy home break-in. On January 10th, 2019, in Birmingham, which is in the United Kingdom, a thief was caught on an inner home security camera. First, he triggers the patio light, which he doesn't care about, and then shines his flashlight inside the home to see what he can Damn. take. He then proceeds to pick the lock on the sliding glass door and eventually is successful. He slides the door and listens in for a while before leaving the scene in a hurry. Yo, people who can pick locks, I'm not gonna hold you, that's actually crazy. Like, people, some people actually know how to do that, and that's actually, like... That's actually crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I don't even, I couldn't even attempt to actually try to do that. I don't know, like, all the, the things behind it and how exactly you do it, but the people who know how to do it is actually, like, I don't know. Why he just leave? He but seconds this. later, he returns, and this time he actually enters the home and begins getting a better look at the place. What's going on? Then, the house alarm goes off, and he makes a run for it, for good this time. Keep in mind, the homeowners were in the house the whole time. They were upstairs, and they were fucking horrified seeing how deep someone got into their house. Damn. One of the homeowners explained on Facebook, be alarm. So last night, at around 12.30 a.m., we got broken into by this scumbag. Luckily, he fled by our house alarm, but still managed to break our patio lock completely and get into the living room. Absolutely mind-boggled. If something, well, I'm not gonna hold you. If I had a crib and somebody tried to break into that shit, I'd definitely be scared, like, and then they they ran away, like, you not caught that shit. I'd definitely be, like, scared, like, that the nigga gonna come back, but I ain't gonna lie, you might have to just get that strap at the end of the day. You might just, you just might have to get, stay strapped type shit and just, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, because, I mean, it's not you gotta, you gotta move type shit, but that's weird that someone was in my house while I was asleep. We noticed a car come down the road and pass our house twice, just a few minutes before this man ran up our drive. The car looks like a black BMW 1 series. CCTV also shows he has a funny limp with his walk. Someone must recognize this. Honestly gutted. Hopefully the scumbag will be caught as he was a pro at what he was doing. It really is scary yeah, how nigga quiet walk, the thief that shit quick. how deep he got into the house. And luckily for them, they had a camera inside the home, which I don't really see most homes do. It's usually businesses that Damn. have inner security. Imagine niggas didn't have cameras in their house, bro. They just heard a random alarm go off. They would have never knew who. Well, they don't know who it is, but he would have never seen that shit. Like cameras. The person was never caught. In case you're wondering, I mean, they're wearing a mask. You can't really do anything about that one. But yeah, I thought this was a scary one to add to the list. Let's continue.
ghosts. Okay, so first let's start with these orbs that are caught on security camera footage. A lot of people think these are ghosts or souls, and this is how they appear on video. Is that motherfucker? I don't know if I'm tweaking. That look like paper, bro. Security camera footage. It looks like a lot flying of paper, or maybe I'm just tweaking. That, that's either flying paper. I, don't I think know. these are ghosts or souls, and this is how they appear on video. Just bright balls of light that the human eye can't see. Some people want uh, to okay. see like, their loved ones visiting them, but we'll never really know. Uh, Though it is interesting how many nah. orbs are caught on camera. Moving on to more creepy. Chat, y'all believe in ghost type shit? Y'all believe? Y'all believe in ghost type shit? I, I don't think that was ghost. I don't think. I don't think that was ghost. I don't think that was ghost. I, I believe in supernatural shit, but I don't, like, some supernatural shit, but I don't think I inherently, like, believe, you know, how about uh, ghosts, like, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I don't pull, go against nobody who thinks that they exist, but I don't know, like, I'm just not, I'm just not really, like, too deep into the rabbit hole where I just one of them niggas who mentioned the fact that I, like, think that these things exist, I'm not, like, a soul Illuminati, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I don't know, bro, but if they did, what would we do about it? If they, if they, if ghosts did, like, exist, what, what would we do about it, bro? I mean, it's tough, but... ...stuff are actual, like, ghosts caught on film. Now, there are many of these cases. I think most of them are fake. I'm not gonna lie. But I'll show you some that I think, I think could be real. Yes, I believe in ghosts. I don't see why someone wouldn't. But, uh, most people just try to fake it to get clout, you know? So, I got some genuine ones for you guys. Here we have a video taken by a mother of a little boy on his bicycle, and if you look closely at the balcony, you can see the shape of a little child. This took place in England, and the property dates back to the 19th century. The creepy part is the Where? mother asked officials about the figure, and they said only security was in the building at the time. And I don't think they have four foot nine securities guarding the place. The next clip is from 2009. Wait, where? Hold on. Want to so, I got some genuine ones for you guys. Here we have a video taken by a mother of a little boy on his bicycle. Right. And if you look closely at the balcony, you can see the sh Oh, right here. Right here on the top. That okay, it's kind of hard for y'all to see cuz the shit is just it's just like that. Hold on. Let me change it to That's why y'all can't see. I couldn't see it at first either. Y'all see right here? On the balcony right here. Is that not a painting? I mean, that, that, I mean, that does look a little crazy, though. I'm not going to hold you. That does look a little crazy, though. I'm not going to catch you. Huh. Okay, interesting, interesting. Shape of a little child. This took place in England, and the property dates back to the 19th century. The creepy part is the mother asked officials about the figure, and they said only security was in the building at the time. And I don't think they have four foot nine securities guarding the place. The next clip is from 2019, and I'll just read how the video starts off. The following clip was filmed while my mom and I were on vacation. We decided to leave our cats home alone for the few nights we would be gone. We scheduled a house sitter to come by and check up on them every other morning. When we arrived back home, we noticed a strange change in their behavior, so we decided to review the footage. This is what we found. One of the cats already seems startled by the yeah. time the video starts, and if you look at the right side of the video, we can see a shadow walk past the hallway. I bro. <laughs> Alright, nigga, like... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the cat knows I'm going all type shit. I mean, it could be on some spirit shit. I, I'm not trying to, like, go find reasons to deny this shit. Hold on, let me see. Let me show, I don't know if some of y'all seen, like, seen the, the, like, I'm not trying to find reasons to deny this shit. I'm just trying to find actual reason that it, it could possibly also be. Maybe it was, like, the headlights outside of a car passing by. Maybe it just reflected the light off, but yeah, I don't know, like, lots. you know what I'm saying? It, maybe it is those two knows. Um, thank you for the five uh, months. Appreciate you. Sub up, sub up, sub up. Then we see this table shake and the door open. Oh, okay. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I almost shit myself. No, that's another cat. That's that's like an actual cat, right? They have two cats. Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. I almost just shit myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I almost just shit myself. Okay. That's that's like their cat. That's like their actual cat, right? That cat looks scary. Then as we see though. this table shake and the door open. That's their cat. Oh my god. Maybe that was wind. Whoa. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, okay. Even I have to admit, this looks crazy as hell. I'm not gonna lose you. Like, even I have to admit, the door just opened by itself. The wind? Was the door cracked? Because cause a closed door, wind doesn't affect the door that's closed. Unless the wind, like, you got Gale Force winds inside. The door's cracked, then maybe, but... I, maybe it, it could be explained as just a headlights passing by and then a lot of wind. You know what I'm saying? You know when wind comes, windows shaking, stuff like that. But, like, it does look crazy, though. I'm not going to count to you. And the cat, the cat, the cat on high alert. 
The video ends with this title card. This happened December 18th, 2019. We decided to wait before releasing the footage publicly. Please share this video. We are still looking for answers. Okay. When the child, y'all, well, okay, y'all niggas are spitting though. Y'all niggas are spitting. Like, I'm, even I can admit, bro, that shit looks supernatural as fuck, bro. That shit look like, that shit looks supernatural as fuck. I'm not gonna lose you. Like, even, I'm, I'm saying though, like, if there's a lot of wind, windows might shake a little bit. Like, depending on how strong the winds are and how fucking dingy your house is. But that doesn't explain the, the door. Wind could not open that door, that crack door, bro. Like, that shit is, that shit, so I'm not making sense, bro. I'm not going to capture you. Writing the script down, I realized this one kind of seems fake, too. Sorry for saying these could be real. But, I mean, why beg people to fucking share the video? It could be fake, though. That would be a, a possibility. That I mean, it could be fake type shit. But if it was actually real footage and we wanted to talk about it, then that's what I would say about it. But it, it could be fake, too. The fuck are they gonna do get bill nye the science guy to fucking oh it's scientifically proven like no like you have ghosts in your house you don't need this to get a million views that's all that's how i think about it let me know what you think about it okay but this next one i think is 100 real like actually 100 real this footage literally gives me chills apparently this family in 2019 thought their house was haunted and they had been experiencing paranormal things like for example the mother said she felt someone's hands on her neck while sleeping the footage shows a figure walking by the baby's crib and the baby ended up with a scratch on her face Yo, what the fuck? I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I, I, motherfuckers got curses on some Jujutsu Kaisen shit? I ain't gonna motherfuckers got Jujutsu Kaisen court curses in the house type shit? Like... I ain't gonna hold you, my, my, and they had been shit. experiencing paranormal things. Like, for example, the mother said she felt someone's hands on her neck while sleeping. The footage shows a so figure said, walking by the job? baby's crib, and the baby ended up with a scratch on her face the morning after. Yo, what the fuck is that? That's the one thing about getting your own crib and living by yourself, bro. If there's a ghost or something happen, bro, like, it's really, really by yourself type shit. I ain't gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's tough. Also, the baby's grandpa explained that he had heard a story about the previous homeowner committing by jumping out the window. The story uh, that I was told was the gentleman that lived here originally um, committed. Nigga. If somebody died in a house, I'm not living. It's as simple as that, bro. Somebody died in a house, and I'm going to go buy a house. Guarantee, I'm not buying that house, nigga. I don't care how cheap it is. I don't care about none of that, nigga. If I don't even like going in areas that I don't even like going in stores. If somebody died in a store, my nigga, like I'm not going in no like home. I'm not living in no area that a nigga died in in GTA. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop it. Apparently. By jumping out this window. But then they showed the house, and, uh... I think you could break your bones, but not die from this. Also, fucking scary place to own a house? Literally in the middle of the fucking woods. The house from... Like somebody's died in your area? I mean, somebody's died a couple, uh, houses down from me before. But, like, that's a couple houses down from me. But if it's a store, like, if I'm going into an actual... I'm not talking about a couple, like, houses down. And probably, and probably, like, a story that I know of. Most likely, bro, the ground that we're sitting on right now, somebody died in 1655 due to whatever they died to. But I don't know that, though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't really know that, though. But if I know for a fact that somebody jumped out the window of the house that I'm about to buy, I'm not buying the house, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's as, it's as simple as that. Encourage the cowardly dog seems safer than this. In GTA. Woman in handcuffs. Oh, on August 24th, 2018 in Montgomery, Texas, security camera footage caught a woman in handcuffs ringing a homeless doorbell and then walking away. It was about 3.20 a.m. and the frightened home resident called police saying that there was a woman wearing what looked like restraints with no shoes and that she was ringing their doorbell late in the evening. The footage went viral, making national news. At first, no one was able to identify the woman as police searches intensified. Yeah. Local officials were worried that something may have happened to the woman as she appeared to be in distress in the footage. Five days later, Later, on August 29th, the woman was identified as 32-year-old local resident whose name was kept private for safety reasons due to mm. suspected domestic violence. She told police she had been sexually and that the Damn. broken restraints on her wrist were bondage cuffs. A lot of details. Oh my god, yo, this is, oh, Jesus Christ, my nigga, like, that's tough. But I was scared at the time, and that's what caused me to ring the neighbor's doorbell. I believe in my heart that is not... It all right, I'm gonna see you head out. See you. All right, all right. Want. It hurts me to see him bashed 
online. When she was found, her boyfriend was also found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Okay, uh, let, let's be, let's keep it a stack. Let's be dead ass serious though. Hold when on. She was this nigga kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> was found her he did it was also found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head she explained that not only did she try ringing doorbells but she also tried waving cars down but no one stopped she wouldn't disclose details about what caused her to flee from the home but she told local news that she forgives him i woke up and he was kneeling on my chest and stuffing some yeah, sort of weird ass, ass nigga bro in my mouth and GTA. Um, duct taping. Weird as Nick. My bro, he's weird as shit, bro. Entire head. Felt like when that was happening, like I was going to die there that night. Missy Beavers Killer Terry Missy Beavers was born on August 9th, 1970 in Graham, Texas. Married to Brandon Beavers in 1998, Missy was a mother to three daughters and the family resided in Red Oak. Missy Beavers worked as a fitness instructor, holding Camp Gladiator boot camps at Midlothian's Creekside Church of Christ, only 20 minutes away from her residence. On April 18th, 2016, the body of Missy Beavers was yeah. found at that same church. Beavers' murder garnered a lot of media attention after fuck? Midlothian police published surveillance videos from inside the church captured around the time period before beaver's murder the video shows an unknown person in police tactical gear walking around they would in the church is it nighttime god damn what the fuck yo think uh, imagine if we didn't have cameras bro a lot of shit that we we be seeing now imagine if we didn't have cameras we'd be fucked as a society i'm not gonna lose you at the church bro also break glass and break into doors police believe yo, i ain't gonna lie whoever this dude is not seeing heaven believe the person in the video is beaver's is murder Yeah, the dude who did is not seeing heaven at all. Not that he's going to see him in the first place, but he's definitely not seeing heaven. Bro, he has, is that a hammer in his hand? Few developments have been made since the initial case, but it's not solved yet. And I don't know if it ever will be. So whoever did it still out there? Before dawn on April 18th, 2016, there was a heavy thunderstorm. The night before her murder, Beavers informed her students that the fitness class would be held inside, as opposed to the typical site at the parking lot. Beavers was last seen on surveillance tapes arriving at 4.18 in the morning. Shortly after 5 in the morning, a student entered the class, stumbling upon Beavers' body. She was pronounced dead wow. not long after the police arrived, and she was found with several puncture wounds to the head and chest. A police warrant alleged that these wounds were consistent with tools the suspect was carrying throughout the building although police did not confirm whether it was a weapon wow. of murder the hammer what was found alongside fuck? other tools well i'm not gonna lie we know it's this nigga he's the only suspicious figure in the whole building that's recorded like it's obviously this nigga but they don't know who he is that's tough. near her body at first the investigators were sure the suspect was a man however as time went by more and more people had began to suspect that it's actually a woman under that costume investigators shared another potential clue the suspect appeared to be walking slowly sometimes steadying themselves with the wall and having trouble moving their right foot or leg. In 2021, a forensic podiatrist contested both claims, alleging that the walk was affected by the way of the gear and the weapons, and there's no relationship between the walk. So the nigga just walking weird because he, he's, he, he's way down walk and the gender initially a reward was set at ten thousand dollars before doubling to twenty thousand gonna need a higher bounty on bro head thousand dollars and ever since 2021 the price stayed at one hundred fifty thousand dollars simply for information about this person wow rest in peace Damn, yeah r.i.p that's fucked up Disappearance of Meta Valentine. Mother, Meta Valentine, was reported missing in 2014 after she failed to show up for Bible study. The last footage of her was this surveillance video taken from outside of her apartments. Oh my god, it's nighttime too. She, is that her just standing right there? Yo. Yo. What the fuck? Yo. The man that chased her down in the video was later identified as Reginald McDowell, her ex-boyfriend.
Nigga, your name is fucking Reginald, lame ass nigga. What the fuck? Meta and McDowell first met in high school, but their relationship was extremely complicated. By 1999, Meta ended up dating someone new, a man named Kenneth D. Thompson. And that same year, Meta and Kenneth were reportedly bound, gagged, pistol whipped, and placed into the trunk of a vehicle by the ex, Reginald. He was later charged with two counts of first degree. I don't know why y'all niggas just throw your life away like that, bro. Like, if somebody not fucking with you or you got an ex or whatever, bro, just live your life, bro. The best thing you can do to make someone jealous or get back at somebody is just be successful and do you and just live your life to the fullest potential bro but y'all niggas be throwing your life away over some petty shit like lame ass nigga bro kidnapping and one count each of first degree burglary and shooting into an occupied vehicle in 2001 reginald was sentenced to 15 years in prison but was released in 2011 once he was free him and meta got back together in Nigga, no way. No, no way, nigga. No way. No fucking way. Yo, what the fuck? No way, nigga. <sighs> 2014, Meta ended up just breaking up with him. And 11 days after doing so, she went missing. Meta's body was never found, and Reginald was never caught but he's suspected to be somewhere in New York. Oh, that's so sad. Imagine that's sad, the RP. last footage of you is, ah, oh, security. Imagine your kids. She was a mom. The last thing they could see is just like some pixels of her running away. That's, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. But yeah, uh, rest in peace, sir. That's crazy. Supposed alien abduction caught on film. Alien. In 1996, the TV show Paranormal Borderline had a submission that contained a VHS tape and a letter. The letter told the story of a worker who appeared to have been abducted by aliens. The footage shows four angles of different sections of the warehouse. God That's damn, like, I know security cameras don't have the best footage, but nigga, can we get a security camera with some actual decent footage? I'm not even asking for 4K, like, but let me get like 1080 or 720 like at least 720 dog like we like i don't know maybe this was this was probably a long time ago but like god damn like, like the quality really shows the top right one is the one we'll be focusing on we see a worker leave the gate at 11 p.m and then boom a flash of light knocks all the cameras out and only come back until what at 11 the fuck? This guy hit by a flash then, grenade boom, a flash of light knocks all the cameras out and only come back until one in the morning then we see the man crawl back vomit then leave the scene again W tub. What the hell? Apparently, the man quit his job and moved away. Now, I know this one's most likely fake and it's uh, already extremely corny, but let's hear what a UFO researcher had to say about this same footage. I work with many people that they suffer from post traumatic stress disorder. Something happened to them, externally happened to them, that they don't maybe quite remember mm. but they know they became ill they know that you know they came back and it was one o'clock in the morning and what happened they i just opened the gate and it was 11 15 and then i the next thing i remember now chad do y'all believe in aliens type shit though that's it for this video guys thank you so oh, much that was for it. watching Damn. Video. Make sure you leave a like no that was a good video by tub yo when tub makes it gets in his disturbing bag the video be disturbing i ain't gonna hold you you ain't he ain't mess with this it's a good video it's a good video um but yeah well what y'all 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 fuck with y'all fucking with aliens y'all think they real yes 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 no no yes yes there's 100 percent aliens out there yeah i definitely think there's other i think i definitely think there's other life on, on other planets I, I i don't know i just don't feel i i highly doubt that we just don't only niggas in the solar system that like exist on planets i ain't gonna hooch now i know niggas get confirmed confused with the term aliens you know what i'm saying but i i personally ask that that's that's what i think you know what i'm saying but hey